Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to your Spirit Monthly Messages, your, your reading for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much for being patient with me in, <laughs> in getting these out to you. Um, I needed to take a break for a minute. Okay, so I have your pre-shuffle here and... I want to say this is a very similar message message for you as it was for Sagittarius. Um, but for you, Capricorn, I feel like this is more family-oriented than anything else. Hmm. Um, so the, the, the um, procrastination. Procrastination is the thing. We're starting you off with the Ten of Swords, okay? We, and from there, we go to the Two of Wands and then the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see? And then the Knight of Pentacles. So something is coming to an end. I feel, I feel like for you, Capricorn, what you, what, you, what you need to be doing is working on putting something to an end. Because you do have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And then you also have the Page of Swords underneath that. Again, again so many similar cards to what came out for um, Sagittarius. But for you, Capricorn, I feel like you need to be putting something to an end here. Ten of Swords. And it's like this situation is already almost done anyway. The problem here is that you need to make a choice as to how you want to proceed moving forward so that you can, in fact, step out into this new level. You can level up. You can step into this new reality, blah, 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 and then start moving forward. Knight of Pentacles. Because see, Capricorn, you have manifested something here and I, with the Magician, and I feel like it's staring you right in the face with the Four of Cups. And there is a level of emotional maturity that needs to be brought into the situation which will then lead you to your happiness. But it's this Ten of Cups that's also making me feel like there, this, is, this has to do with a family situation of some sort. And I feel like someone is dragging their feet on making a decision on how they want to proceed further. It's almost as if the situation is in limbo right now because someone is procrastinating and not making a decision. Because the King of Swords here is the is the judge, right? Is the individual or the type of energy that looks at everything from as many different angles as possible to understand it, to get the information, to get the information that they need to understand the situation even further. You even have the Three of Wands here now, which is another card that came out for Sagittarius. And trust me, you guys, I shuffled these before I did your reading, okay? Before I started your energy. All right. Um, but very similar to, to, to Sagittarius's energy or reading... They're seeking too much. And this King of Swords can def definitely be the type of energy to procrastinate here. And at some point, somebody's going to say to this King of Swords, buddy, we got to move forward. I mean, there are no other ways to look at this. We have to make a decision. And yet, finally, you have the Four of Pentacles. And to me, this is giving a very stubborn energy. It, it, you might really need to let go of the amount of control you want to have over this situation. I also want to say over this relationship. This is not supposed to be specifically a love reading, okay? So if it, but if it resonates for you in terms of love, then all right, which makes sense because I am picking up on family energies here from this 10 of cups. Okay, so with that said, Capricorn, let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what else we get. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, five shuffles. One. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's try that again. One. Two. Three.
four. And five. All right, Capricorn. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. Overall energy. Whew. I'm switching. It's hot, y'all. It's hot. Uh, over wow, Cap a Capricorn. There you go. Two of Wands. It's time to go ahead and make the decision already. <laughs> Underneath the Two of Wands is the... Ooh, you had the King of Swords in the, 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 the pre-shuffle. And now you have the Queen of Swords. Uh, and I honestly, Capricorn, I want to tell you the same thing I told Sagittarius. Stop procrastinating. It's time to get on with this. Five, five, five on the counter. It's time to get on. I mean, and, and, and so, whereas the King of Swords is like the judge and the jury even, I see the Queen of Swords as the enforcer. No more need for discussion. No more need for deliberation. It's time to put the judge's decision into action. Okay, the Queen of Swords doesn't fuck around like that. The Queen of Swords has no time for deliberation, has no time for a conversation. The, the, the choice has been made. The situation is done. Let's move forward. Underneath the Queen of Swords is the Seven of Swords. And then underneath the Seven of Swords is the Fool, Capricorn. You are deceiving yourself. You are stealing yourself from yourself. You are robbing yourself of an opportunity to move forward here. All because you don't want to make a decision. Hmm. Okay, let's get into this. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading. You have, ah, the Queen of Wands now. And I want to say, you've been in this space of getting into alignment with this. So at, at this point, it's like, what are you questioning for? If you see an opportunity is right in front of you, then that means it's in alignment with you. Like I said in the pre-shuffle, you have manifested something, Capricorn, and now it's kind of like staring you right in the face. But then with this Seven of Swords energy, you're being deceitful. You're deceiving yourself in thinking that you can't move forward or thinking that you don't have enough information or you are thinking you don't know what this is yet. You know exactly what this is. You've been working on manifesting it, Queen of Wands. You've been getting into alignment with it, or, or at least maybe you are not consciously aware of the fact that you were getting into alignment with it. Regardless, you're in alignment with it now and it's here. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords. So I guess the next question for you is, why have I manifested this? And if there is something that is, 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 uh, has approached you or has shown up in your, in your life or has become visible within your awareness and you don't know what it is or you don't know why it's there or... You're lying to yourself about why you don't know what it is or why you don't know why it's there. Then maybe you should sit down and focus on what your alignment truly is. There is a level of lying to yourself here, Capricorn. I am not going to lie. And there's also a level of needing to take responsibility for what you find yourself aligning with. In many cases. In some cases, you know, something comes through because it's a big thing for us. It's a big lesson that you need to learn. But in other cases, there are these small, little, minor, minuscule things that pop up into our lives. And it's like, ooh, what is that? Why did that, why did that get, where did that come from? Somebody, somebody needs to take responsibility for their own alignment here, Capricorn. Maybe this is you or maybe this is someone that you're dealing with. I don't know, but second set of surrounding energies for you. Ah, now you have the Empress. And it's almost as if the universe is kind of chuckling or having a little joke. Maybe even at, it might seem like it's at your expense. I, I, I kind of feel like this is a little bit of like a jokes on you energy, but the, but it's coming through in terms of the fact that the universe is saying we are abundant. We can bring you anything that you want. And we keep bringing you these things that you seem to be in alignment with while then telling us, no, that's not what I wanted. Or maybe it's not what I thought I wanted. Well, that's not what I thought I wanted, so I'm not going to go for it. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe you should figure out what, what you do want. Bien solo. Think about it. 
Queen of Wands is coupled, not Queen of Wands, excuse me, the Empress is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Honestly, this honest really just feels like an, an energy Capricorn of you needing to now, or at least getting to the level where you can really start taking responsibility for your alignment, for what it is that you are manifesting or what it is. It's, it, it's almost as if someone is sub or not even subconsciously, but unconsciously manifesting at this point. Like with the Queen of, no, I'm sorry, with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles here, I really want to say that I feel like this is a moment where the universe is trying to teach you just how abundant it is and to pay attention for, uh, to what it is you're dreaming about or what it is you're, you're manifesting or what it is popping up in your life because you have more control over that than you think. You are not at the mercy of the elements here. You create your own reality, Capricorn. Okay. I just heard take responsibility for yourself and your actions. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Mm, there you go. The Eight of Swords. Capricorn, you have more control over your life, over your existence, over your reality than you actually think you do or you're allowing yourself to believe that you do. And ultimately, that is keeping you in this mental prison, locked up, feeling like you have no power, no authority. No, no, that's not even remotely true. Eight of Swords is coupled with judgment. It's time to wake up, Capricorn. It's time to wake up, honey. As my mom would say, wakey uppy uppy uppy. <laughs> Good Lord. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading you have. Ah, there's that page of swords again. But this is you being in a seeking type of energy. Seeking out the discrepancies. Uh, really diving into your vibrational reality and seeing what's really in there. And I kind of want to say cutting some pieces out, sure. But that energy is coming from the Queen of Swords here. The Page of Swords is the one that's going to gather all the information for the Queen of Swords to then, then do her thing with. Page of Swords is coupled with, ah, uh, girl, girl, death. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's some things that have got to change. Yeah, Capricorn, you've got to transform. You have to. It's part of the process. It's part of the reason why we are here on Earth, living these lives going through these karmic situations over and over and over and over until we get the point, until we get the message, until we get the lesson, right? Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Um, and I'm going to move over to, uh, to Spirit Monthly Part 2, which is going to be over on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend that you get there. Um, there's a lot of great stuff already up there, and then there's also more that's going to be put up as time goes on. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. That can be the link can be found in the description box below. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading with me, please don't hesitate to hit me up. Email me, Divine Conversations 2711 at gmail.com. That is also in the description box below. Email me, let me know what it is you're interested in, and I will get you all set up, yes? But with that said... Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>